everybody, this is Praxis and I'm back at it again today. I've got the first floor joist done over here and it's braced. You can see the uh, 45 degree angle diagonal braces down there. Second floor joist is in and uh, I got one brace on. In this video I'm going to put in the second brace. I wanted to mention that one uh, thing I had to do to this rail back here is I had to pull it out. Uh, the splice piece that I used here was an old piece of uh, pressure treated uh, 2x6 that I'd inherited from someone else. It had kind of a, like a bend in it uh, and I, I wanted to use it up so I used it in here it had the bend so it expressed its bend into this wall a little bit so what I did is I took uh, one of these tie down straps I tied it onto that big pile there and and pulled this thing out uh, you know so now this thing is straight that thing is straight and now I'm going to attach everything and brace everything while this thing is attached and I'm not going to pull that off until I get all the joists on and all the braces on and we're going to do one of the braces right now uh, this brace here uh, just like the other ones uh, just slides right up uh, from the bottom here you can see it's like kind of like a middle finger uh, where this part uh, goes in there it's a little bit off center there's no particular reason for that other than the fact that this joist is a little bit off center from the post here uh, no particular reason for that it was just it was easier to kind of line things up on one side so they're lined up on this side and this side is just kind of whatever so uh, we're going to get this under here, slide it up, up inside there, all right, and the important thing is making sure there's not a weird gap here, how are we doing, I have a little mini slot for this too, but my hand seems to be working okay, all right, just trying to make it so that there's, there's no gap here, it's just a, a nice straight line there. If this is a little crooked, that's not a big deal, but you want this to be nice and flush and parallel, just like that. Okay, got a brace piece here to kind of lock it in. Can I lock it in somehow? Where's my... Okay, there we go. There's a good place. Okay, so this is wedged up in there. Feels reasonably centered. What we're going to be using to hold this on are these six-inch lag screws here, and I'm going to be pre-drilling holes with this long bit and then tapping them out a little bit with this. This is a little bit narrower than this so that the, the threads will still grab but it makes it easier to drive it in. And then I got a big uh, drill bit that's fully the width of this that I'm going to use to just drill out this part. So we're, we're grabbing this and just crushing it up against there. First step is to uh, put this hole in. So come down here. It's going to be going roughly right through this area right here. Trying to keep it straight. Okay. And it goes in and out a few times because you want to take all these wood chips out, otherwise it binds up. Okay, I think that's far enough. So we're going to swap to this thing now. We're going to go the full depth of this. Just like that, because the full depth of this thing is not the full length of that uh, screw. And then this is really important that this is only going to go through the vertical post, not going to there, because otherwise it'd be getting rid of stuff that can be grabbed. So I only want to go into about that depth. Here we go. Okay, there we go. <laughs> and knocked it a little bit. All right. There we go, so that hole is done. I can take this. I could kind of hammer it through because I opened it up enough, but I may have to just kind of screw it through a little there or, or this. So uh, the full attachment of this is this one six inch lag screw. There's gonna be a couple of four inch screws, just regular wood screws I'm gonna be putting in from the bottom. Uh, it's just a little additional. And then we're gonna be putting uh, nails up at the top. Uh, up at the top, I'm gonna be using four uh, 10D nails on either side. And what I'm looking for here is to really see this gap just get squeezed shut. River asked me this morning how I determine, you know, what's enough, what's enough bracing. Uh, these, uh, like the length of these, were determined just by the fact that I took an eight foot long uh, four by four and cut it in half and got two braces out of it. Um, you know, but how do I know whether that's enough? And the honest answer is I don't. You know, I. It's more of an art than a science when it comes to that kind of stuff. I feel like I overbuild things and I've never had anything just collapse on me. So I must be 